Hey, hey. I'm a sucker. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, man. Can I, can I get on Got a can dollar I get on in the the dream. Hell yeah. Got my motherfucking man, Elite. Bless me. He had another joint called Playground that we not putting on there. I don't even know if I broke the news to him yet. So if you're watching it, <laughs> forgive me, man. But um, that's just crazy. I did. That's the first. I think that's one of the first joints I did where I didn't write. I just was on some. I was trying to try the Jay Z, Lil Wayne shit. Like when nigga don't write, which I'm not. I don't give a fuck about because I'm a writer to the death. But it came out crazy. Like the verses came out crazy. But that's not going on a mixtape. But there's a joint called Heartache that's going on a mixtape that he produced. And then Science, um, who did like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Hollywood. No disrespect to that song, but he's so much better than that song when it comes to rap shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that doesn't even go to show you how cl how crazy he is with the rap shit. That's almost sounds like some R&B shit, which he's crazy on the R&B. Man, his rap shit is out of this fucking world. And he will be on my album. Definitely. Um, so that's it. Only two other than everything else. I think, what, 12, 13, 14, 15 tracks produced by me. Something crazy like that. Yeah. BB Gun is the fucking illest. My mom Biggie was like, Biggie Smalls is the illest. That's their shit. BB Gun is the illest, dog. They fucking two white boys who I don't know how they met. God put them together. They sick, man. It was, it was like, you almost can sit back. Like, the, like, of course, we all brainstorm and throw ideas in. And what I love about them is they listen. They don't fucking, you know, they don't, they don't feel like because they're the directors, they, you know, your yeah, idea don't mean nothing. You know, they listen. They soak shit in. But when it comes time to execute and make that vision happen, it's way better than you could ever imagine. Like, I didn't know if it was just because I had never seen videos before in cameras. I thought that's what it might have been. No, it's the fact that they are sick. They, you know, their ideas... They might do some shit on the spot. Like, they might have a, a very generic treatment, but when it comes to the fucking, the day to record, ideas are flowing like that. Oh, what if we do that? Pong, pong. You know, so, they have a pleasure to work with, man. And to see that finished product was incredible. I'm sitting on, I've released several, but I'm sitting on two more videos. It's classic. I'm just trying to figure out what to do, how to play my cards, but, you know, it was a pleasure to be able to link up with them. Hardest thing to get used to since being signed is, um, and ain't even that hard. It's just a matter of doing it. Is realizing that your team is to be utilized. Like when you unsign and everybody doing everything for free, it's kind of hard to ask a nigga to do something. Like it's kind of like, uh, yo, would you mind if you do it? You know, you want to be polite, and then you also thinking like, yo, this nigga don't gotta be doing this shit. But when you sign, it's different. Your manager is making money off of you. The label is making money off of you. So it's hard to transition from the mind state of being a broke nigga who just like feeling like, okay, I'm just happy to be here. Like, you know, if you want to do this, you can. To being a nigga who's like, this is my business. This is my brand. We're, in, we're, we're partners now and you got to do this. So it's hard to transition to being a more uh, demanding nigga. Like, yo, I need this done. Can you get this done? Can you have this done? You know? So it's just about transitioning to that and getting the business aspect right. Um, that's, you know, that was kind of difficult. But that ain't that hard. It just takes, you know, focus and knowing the type of nigga you want to be. Hell no. I told you, y'all, this was not even a thought in my mind. Never. Never. I thought, it would be, like I told you, I thought it would be signed. I knew I would be signed. I was thinking like more like, is it going to be Atlantic or Def Jam? Is it going to be this or that? Or am I going to be signed to Interscope? You know, I, didn't, I had no clue. Jay-Z never crossed my mind as a type of nigga I would be signed to. Maybe it was too big or whatever. Even worse than a year ago, nigga, 10 years ago rapping, me and my homeboy Cedric in the fucking, you know, downstairs in my crib, making beats writing, writing to... Fucking Rockefeller instrumentals. I could never, ever, that's something I never thought of. Like, yo, what if one day I was on the rock or what if one day I was on the J? Never, dog. 
That's, that's what's weird. I never visualized this shit. And this shit just happened. When it happened, when it came, though, it felt right. It felt like, oh, shit. Perfect. When I grabbed the warm up, is, it's two things. It's like building, buzz building. Because I'm, in this day and age, I'm hustling backwards. Every nigga these days gets a buzz and gets a deal. I never believed in that. I was like, I don't, I don't, I never believed in, I got to get my buzz and get a deal. I was like, my music that I'm doing is speaking for itself. Like, I need to have a deal. Like, in the old days, niggas would get deals off talent. That's how I was feeling. Like, fuck that. I'll deal with the rest later. So, I'm kind of hustling backwards in this day and age. So, life after warm up is buzz, meaning shows every club I can, every school I can. I want to set up a crazy college tour. In the fall, I want to do more intimate shows. I don't want to do, like, I kind of want to do auditoriums more than, like, club settings. I want, almost want people to sit down like they're watching a play, and I'm and I'm up there speaking, like, and almost like you could come up to the mic and ask questions, like, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an answer, tell you how I feel about it, and then move on to the next song and transition like that. That's what I want to do for the fall. That's my little vision. Um, and then other than that, a straight album, I'm trying to make it. I'm trying to make a class and fucking, that's always been on my agenda, like, since I was young. You gotta have a class. If you want to be one of the greatest, your first gotta be a classic. You know, Pac is probably the only nigga who first album made a classic who's considered one of the greatest. You know, from Eminem to fucking, to fucking Jay to Nas to Big. I don't know if you consider Pac shit a classic. First, I definitely don't, and I'm a Pac fanatic, but his first is not a classic. It, rap is definitely a motherfucking competitive sport. I don't know what I'm saying. Anywhere from my competition, good luck. Have fun. Enjoy it while it lasts. I'm going to be here for a long time, though. <laughs> I don't know about you. I'm going to be here for a minute.